Hi, I'm Ron Sledge, King Engine Bearings Performance and Technical Manager. Today I'm going to show you how to install main bearings. For our demonstration, I have a Subaru Boxer FA20 block and a full set of King Engine Main Bearings for this application, MB5745XPG. As you can see, this is a split case application, so the assembly will be a little bit different than normal block and caps. The first step is to check housing bore conditions. With block fasteners torque, check housing bores for size, roundness, taper, and surface condition using a good inside micrometer. If any specs are found to be out of tolerance, have a qualified machinist correct them. Step number two, identify positions in the block with the corresponding king main bearings to ensure correct placement of the bearing. For accuracy, refer to the Keen catalog to identify the correct main bearing for each main position before installing. The next step is install bearings and bores. Carefully clean and install each bearing into its appropriate position. Firmly push each bearing into its bore until a slight snap is felt. While doing that, check for all hole alignment and that the locating lugs are nested into their appropriate housing bore notches. Make sure the bearing fits down snugly into its bore until it will bottom out. The rear position does not have any locating tabs because the thrust bearing does not need them and it'll prevent oil leaks as well. We've got one side done, we're going to do the other side, the other side of the block. the bearing should snap into place. That means it's got good uh, free spread that keeps the bearing in place while you get the bearings of the block ready to go together. Okay, we're almost done. Now go back and check each position to make sure the bearing is set down properly. The bearing should feel a little bit above the 180 degree line because of the crush factor built into the bearings. And the final step is pre-lube bearing surfaces. Apply a sufficient amount of bearing assembly lube to the bearing surfaces Okay, we're finishing up lubricating the rear thrust bearing, then we pick up the oil can again and we're going to go to the other side of, the, of this split case and we're going to apply the oil the same way. Again, make sure that the bearing surface is totally wet and we have all of it covered with a lubricant because we want to prevent a dry start. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, you can reach us on Facebook. King Racing or send us an inquiry at kingbearings.com.